what we're building out here is Brisbane Airport's new parallel runway. 3,300 metres long, 60 metres wide, two kilometres separated from the existing main runway. The project's worth 1.3 billion, spent over about eight years. It's a case not of build and we shall come, it's a case of they are coming so we need to build it. The passengers through Brisbane Airport are approximately 22 million each year and by 2035, 50 million passengers every year will be travelling through Brisbane Airport. To compare that today, that's like Singapore or Hong Kong airports. Air travel is vital to our economy. We need this new runway to enable air travel growth and economic growth through Brisbane and the state of Queensland. The construction process is approximately an eight year program. We needed about two years to bring in the sand surcharge, so that was the dredging and reclamation phase. Phase one works really started with preparing the site with drainage, construction roads, modifying the cross runway, followed up by the big dredging and reclamation. And that involved pumping about 11 million cubic metres of sand, putting in about 330,000 wicks, and building the solid platform on which we'll build Brisbane Airport's new parallel runway. We then actually need the site to settle for approximately three years, which is the time needed to prepare the ground. As part of the runway process, we need a very good subsoil structure. BAC takes it very seriously that we're producing an asset not only for BAC but also for Queensland, and we want to ensure that that asset is viable well into the future. The geology of the new parallel runway site is quite interesting. It's actually an old river delta, which means we have very deep, soft soils. So different layers of sand had to be installed on different areas always depending on the thickness and the quality of the soft layers underneath. The sand is used as a means to push the water out of the softer sub-layers. What we're waiting for now is the sand to consolidate that underlying soil so it forms a stable platform on which to build the runway. Challenges in the phase one was really the site on which we were building. Very soft alluvial soils. It was a long way from where the dredge could come and moor and pump the sand. It had the environmental challenges. We were surrounded by very important ecological communities. We had Morton Bay and the Marine Park out to our north. We had migratory birds that we had to ensure that the works didn't disturb. Our construction site ran from a dredge footprint out in Morton Bay. We then steamed our dredge vessel through an active shipping channel. We had to berth in an active port. Our pipeline then transitioned across an active sewage treatment plant. It then came across an active airfield and then finally into our construction site. So there was many considerations for each of those individual areas that we had to plan for. And thankfully, during the delivery, that planning came off. We've now reached a fantastic milestone of the project. We've completed phase one works. One of the really proud achievements Brisbane Airport Corporation has with the completion of phase one is that for both contracts, they were completed ahead of schedule, under budget, achieved the highest environmental outcomes. We worked very closely with our stakeholders to ensure that there were no surprises. And BAC can be really proud of what our contractors and our team and our consultants have achieved in this phase one. So much has been squeezed into that time. We have cleared the land, we have placed 11 million cubic metres of sand on the site to compress the underlying soft soils, we've wicked it, we've drained it, and now it's time to look to the next stage. Phase two consists of building a 3,300 metre runway, 60 metres wide, separated two kilometres from the current runway system. Up to 12 kilometres of taxiways, a brand new airfield drainage system, and airfield landscaping, navades. There's a lot of intricacies that come with this next phase of the project. So we're full swing into the final design process, which is really for the phase two works. And in the coming years, we'll see the pavement starting to be constructed, and then really the airfield starting to take shape, ready for the first planes to land in 2020. I take a lot of personal pride in what my team has achieved, what our contractors achieved. It really is a milestone. I'm a proud man. With us getting into the design for the phase two, I, I can start to see this new runway and um, can almost touch it. <laughs>